Okay, I've taken an IP address here. Now this is subnetting part three, and this is a typical IP address you'll see on your home computer if you have like let's say a uh, wireless router at home, and you were to do a um, ad, uh, under, find what your IP address is. Oftentimes you'll find that your IP address is something like this: 192.168.1.101. Well, first of all, I'm going to convert this to binary and show you a little something about IP addresses, and that is first of all. I'll chink this down to smaller font size. All right, the first part, <coughs> the 192, I'll write that in binary first. Okay, there's 192. And then the 168 part, that's 128 plus 32 is 160. And then they go there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 128 plus 32 is 160 plus 8 is 168. And the next part, uh, the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a 1 bit. All right. And then last but not least, 101. 0 on the 128th place. We will need a 64. We will need a 32. That makes 96. 96 plus um, 16 will be too much. 90, so that'll be a 0. 96 plus 8 will be too much. Um, how about uh, 4? That's 101. Okay, so right there, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Um, take that to size 22. We'll say here is the number 192. That's the 168. There's the 1, and there's the 101. So this IP address scheme has been divided into four parts, one part for each number. Okay, um, Each number in the IP address, 192.168.1.101, is comprised of 8 bits, right? And so the total address, an IP address, is a 32 bit address. There are four parts, right, or four, we'll call them octets. Why do we call them octets? Because each part has eight bits. So if you see here, one, two, three, if we count each bit here, that's eight bits, that's eight bits, that's eight bits, and that's eight bits. So that makes a 32-bit address, four octets of eight bits. Okay? So and if I want to write this out in binary, 192.168.1.101, it would look like this. 128, uh, this one is in the 128th uh, place. This one is in the 64th place. If you add them together, that makes 192. This is a 128th place plus a 32 plus a 8. And that makes 168 zeros in all these place values with a 1 in the 1's place, that makes your 1. Over here I've got a 1 in the 64's place, in the 32's place that makes 96, plus 1 in the 4's place makes 100, plus a 1 is 101. So this is an IP address, 32-bit address, 4 octets of 8 bits each, written in binary format. And this is going to be important as we learn subnetting.